Okay, hi Aries, welcome to your reading. If you're new to the channel, I do my timeless readings, which means that whenever you find this video is when you're meant to hear the messages that are within it. And in case you subscribe, I upload my new videos for Aries and Libra on Mondays. So for those of you who are interested in the deck that I'm using, it's called the Ludi Lascott Tarot. I'm not 100% sure if that's the correct pronunciation, but it's L-U-D-Y L-E-S-C-O-T. So I'm just gonna go for four more cards, three more cards, and then we can get started on your reading. So just a reminder, if you guys like the reading and it resonates with you, leave a like or a comment. But I see the Six of Wands as your overall energy, which tells me that you guys are, I think, overdue for a victory. Because the Six of Wands is the card of victory. And I sense that you guys have been sort of putting time and energy into a situation but in the past, it hasn't really been coming, coming through in a very positive or sort of victorious way. Because I'm looking at the woman in this card, and she looks very heartbroken, uh, very sad, almost. And she has some dead roses in her little bouquet that she has. So that leads me to believe that you guys have been putting forward energy into a situation or trying to manifest something, but in the past it hasn't really worked out. But now you're sort of entering uh, an upswing, right? I'm getting that you guys are gonna see a lot more positivity in that regard. And it's very interesting because I'm looking at the 10, um, the Ten of the Major Arcana here, and that's the Wheel of Fortune. And I hadn't seen the Wheel of Fortune prior to me saying that, but the Wheel of Fortune oftentimes is a lot of what I just described is sort of karmic cycles or divine timing. And I think the fact that it's in reverse, it almost leads me, leads me to believe that you guys are feeling a little bit blocked, um, like I was saying with the Six of Wands. But I feel like it's a reminder that you need to keep your chin up high while you're on this downswing, right? Because unfortunately, when I see the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, it leads me to believe that you're sort of going into a downswing, whereas in the upright, it's you're sort of coming back up into this upswing. But that's the thing about the uh, Wheel of Fortune is that sometimes it goes down and other times it goes up. So like I said before, it's not the end of the world. You just need to sort of Give it some time for it to come back in this upswing. And I, I sense that whatever blockage this is, it's uh, a blockage in love. Like I was saying earlier, um, with the Six of Wands, I feel like you were trying to manifest something in love and it didn't really quite come into fruition the way you would have liked, right? And the reason I say that is because you have this Two of Cups and you have this four of pentacles. So I think that in the past, there was a lot of what this four of pentacles energy is. Uh, so on like one level, I think that a lot of you guys were oversharing, uh, over giving, and I feel like in the other level, you guys were very much the opposite, not giving enough. Um, not sharing enough and as a result that created instability in the relationship and I feel like the reason that happened is sort of as a response of this two of cups in reverse right so just to clarify like this two of cups in reverse is so many energy but in the reverse right so I feel like you may have been talking to someone or maybe trying to pursue a relationship with someone whom you thought was a very uh, good match for you or a very strong powerful love connection but as a result 
it it wasn't really or I or rather like when you got to know them you realized that hey they're they have all these negative qualities that don't work well with what you are looking for and like I feel like you guys were on different life paths you know had different goals and as a result you went into this four of pentacles energy and I feel like that looks different for some of you guys um I feel like some of you tried to sort of save the relationship by asking more of them or asking more of yourselves and I feel like that's why you have this wheel of fortune reverses because it, it simply wasn't divine timing it simply wasn't the time but I do see this Knight of Pentacles here, or rather this page, or sorry, this page of swords. I don't know why I said Knight of Pentacles. Um, you have the Knight of Pentacles in your reading, which leads me to believe that you guys might be dealing with a very important earth sign in your life, especially since I see this Virgo card. But this page of swords here, I feel like really wants to come forth with a message, but I feel like it's not quite exactly in its mature state yet, the message. I feel like it's in its infancy and it's getting to a point where it might be sort of mature enough to come forward. And I feel like that's what this eight of pentacles is talking about, right? Because the eight of pentacles talks about the cultivation of a skill and working on something. So I feel like there's almost like another person here that's trying to work on themselves in some way, shape, or form. And I feel like for some of you, it, it might look like they're trying to get a new job, or for some of you, they might be like losing weight or changing like an aspect of themselves. Maybe they're working out or sort of buying a new wardrobe, something like that, something that would make them more appealing or attractive, and that's why they haven't quite come forward with this Ace of Swords, or rather this Page of Swords, but the message is formulating, I feel. And I feel like in the meantime, you're in this strength energy, right? So I guess what I haven't mentioned yet is that the strength card here is the card of Leo, and then the Nine of or rather the uh, Hermit card here is the card of Virgo. So you guys might be dealing with a, a Leo or a Virgo. You might have Leo or Virgo placements, or they might. You know, if those signs resonate with you guys, that's just a little bit of extra confirmation that this reading was indeed for you, but they don't have to. Uh, but I definitely feel that you guys are in this Leo energy, this very fierce strength energy. Because what's very interesting is that most interpretations of the strength card uh, sort of have this mind over matter kind of a thing. Um, you don't tame a lion by force. You train them and you and you uh, teach them how to act. Basically like how you're trying to, to get them to act, right? Sort of like training a, a dog or any other kind of animal. But what's very interesting is that there's a lion almost very hidden in the background, and then there's the woman in the foreground, right? So that leads me to believe that this whole aspect of the lion is sort of hidden back. It's almost as if the lion has tamed the woman and taught her their ways. So I think that right now you're tapping into a lot of your sort of animalistic nature. You know, and I feel like for a lot of you, that because there's obvious overtones here of sexuality. Um, but I think more than that, you guys are sort of taking your power back in a lot of regards. I feel like with this sort of situation in the past, you guys were maybe a little bit more submissive to the situation uh, in order to like maintain peace or whatever. And, you know, like I don't want to go by sort of astrological stereotypes, but that's not a very Aries kind of way of thinking or acting. Uh, that's more typical of Libras, which are your a, a sign of opposition. But I feel like in that regard, like, you know, with this Four of Pentacles, you were sort of giving or keeping to yourself a lot of emotion and not being terribly true to yourself. And now I feel like with this uh, Leo card, you're very much being true to yourself. And then you have the Seven of Pentacles, and the Seven of Pentacles is a very interesting card because to me it always talks about surveying and taking inventory, right? It's 
the card of planting a seed and then growing it, watering it every day and watching it grow. And you also have the Knight of Pentacles here. So it almost feels like someone is watching you cultivate yourself, right? With this nine, uh, or rather the seven of pentacles, you guys are really working on yourselves and this eight of pentacles might actually be you as well. Um, so you have that card symbolism from the eight to the nine and then you have the, the number symbolism from the nine to the 10. You have the eight, the nine and the 10 uh, of the major arcana. So I feel like you guys are going through a lot of like progression I, f I feel like you guys are don't feel like you're wasting time because it feels like you keep advancing no matter what you do. And I feel like to a certain degree, like this, that's what this Knight of Pentacles means is that you're sort of advancing towards your own stability. And I think that it might also be uh, some kind of love proposal for a group of you, but I think that for a bigger amount you guys are just sort of kind of finding yourselves right now and I think that's a really great thing uh, you also have the hermit card here and the hermit card speaks of sort of hiding away sometimes and keeping to yourself and really exploring yourself and your inner world and I feel like now might be a good time for a lot of you guys to do that uh, especially if you just got out of a relationship you know definitely like sit down with yourself and sort of talk about what your intentions are and see where you want to head and sort of sit down and take inventory like with the seven of pentacles card i feel like now is a good time for you guys to do that especially if you're uh in this process of this eight or rather sorry the strength card um if you're sort of trying to get your strength back, I feel like now is a great time to sort of spend a lot of time with yourself, take yourself on the out on a date and that kind of an energy. Um, but that was your reading for this time around Aries. If you enjoyed, please consider leaving a like or a comment because it really helps out the channel. And I personally really love to know if these reson if these readings resonate with you guys. But like I said before, I upload my new Aries videos on Monday. But in the meantime, you guys are more than welcome to watch any of my other timeless readings that I have up on the channel. And with that, I hope to see you guys next time for your next reading.